Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. President Joe Biden could be facing a coup from inside his own party as Democrats reportedly prepare to put Vice President Kamala Harris in his place. An anonymous document titled Unburdened by What Has Been, the case for Kamala apparently lays out a detailed plan for a new campaign. The secret file, seen by CNN, apparently reads, there's one path out of this mess, and it's Kamala. Put together by senior operatives within Democratic political institutions, it includes an argument for why the VP would make a better Democratic candidate for president. The shocking revelation comes after an increasingly awkward series of blunders by Biden, who is facing calls to pull out of the race. Just yesterday, he mistakenly called himself a black woman during a radio interview. In an attempt to salvage his reputation as a stammering commander-in-chief, the president told ABC Today that only the Lord Almighty could make him pull out of the race. Forced to admit to a bad episode during his first head-to-head -head debate with opponent Donald Trump on June 27, Biden even admitted he didn't watch it back. During the interview, the oblivious president was quick to brush off concerns about his age and mental fitness, which have dominated his campaign in the last seven days. He admitted he could not run the 110 flat, but insisted, I'm still in good shape. The president also appeared to forget the name of Sir Keir Starmer, who as of Friday morning, became the new UK prime minister. CNN spoke to top House Democrats, who dubbed Kamala a much safer alternative for the upcoming November race. One leader of a major Dem group, who is historically skeptical of Harris's capacity for success, said, he's in such bad shape, but I've also had conversations with Democrats about her from some key groups that have been skeptical in the past who believe everyone will rally to her if she's the nominee. The document circled among them reads, there's one path out of this mess, and it's Kamala. Kamala Harris has the strongest claim to Democratic legitimacy. She is the only candidate who can take the reins right now instead of in late August, with less than three months left to go. She has significant and widely underplayed electoral advantages. She can win. Despite claiming she is not the best option, it plainly states that she's the only realistic option to win. This isn't an argument about deservedness, or about why you personally should love Kamala. This is about strategy and winning in the face of unimaginable electoral stakes. The anti-Trump coalition cannot afford to discount the strengths of the nominated Democratic running mate and current vice president. She's not the best option, she's the only realistic option to win, it reads. The name of the document, unburdened by what has been, could be a light-hearted double entendre referring to Harris's beloved phrase, what can be, unburdened by what has been. She has used it repeatedly at countless public events, speeches, and during interviews over the last few years. Tim Ryan, a former Ohio congressman, said he's been inundated with private agreements that Biden should step aside in favor of Harris. He said, it's a straight shot and she's ready to roll. We've got to be decisive, too. The politician added, it plays right into the stereotype that Democrats are weak. With one fell swoop, you can change so many different narratives. An unnamed Democratic senator used the metaphor of a star quarterback in the NFL being swapped out for a backup on the bench to win a game. Officials are even discussing potential candidates for Harris's own running mate. A spokesman for the Biden camp told CNN, President Biden is our nominee, Vice President Harris is our running mate, and we will win this November.